Czar sets the right example. Hey, what are you doing here? None of your business. What do you want? I'm just looking for a book, not for any trouble. You see books, we see toilet paper. Find another library. I just came from one, and I can't let you rip those books to shreds. Can't let us? <laughs> Please. 
Get him, boys. Let's pick his corpse clean. <laughs> you fixed up okay what can I get you look for me near the metro sign haven't eaten a thing today it's like when you'd wash your car 
for renegade masks. That's right. At least, so Kate says. Me, I believe her. Ah, more great works recovered. Your dedication to this is moving. <laughs> Gulliver's Travels. Jonathan Swift was a brilliant satirist. Here he had a go at human nature and the Traveler's Tales subgenre. <laughs> Magnificent. I fear our world has lost the ability to appreciate the subtlety of satire. But when it can again, this book will be here, thanks to you. Our library is growing, Aiden. Not just in the number of books, but in the amount of knowledge, wisdom, history, and more. We need to keep it growing, Aiden. Uh, but first, let us find some more collections for you. Stay on the line.
Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. <gasps> oh, my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? <sighs> Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What'd he do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. The secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me, I, I must gather my things. Finished. Well done, Hotshot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. Now come back when you're ready for more. They're not all gonna be that easy. For more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm gonna take you farther back to Mesopotamia. Like, uh, 9,500 years ago, when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. Expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. 
People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful. package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, <laughs> very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock. A busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family at just a year younger. So he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? Do you even know what day it is, precisely? Well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before. And that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny. Okay, so Angela won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son.
It looks like you've got another notch on your clear token, hotshot. That was an eccentric old man. Flavio? Aye. Well, he and his brother are quite a pair. Old as dirt. Probably pre-Mesopotamian. Not everyone out there is that entertaining, though. You'll see. Well, that is if you want to keep at it. Come back when you're ready for another delivery. Now, what do you have for me this time, Professor? Professor? Ha! You're catching on. Nice one. Today is envelope day. Humanity's been using envelopes since before the Egyptians made them out of papyrus. But it was the Chinese who invented paper envelopes at the suggestion of some smart guy who realized that papyrus, silk, and other materials were too darned expensive. Maybe that's why they were called cheapo. Because that guy was a cheapo. Stands to reason. All right, hotshot. Lesson time's over. I've got some envelopes that need to go to different places. Now you can count on me. What are you doing? A few days ago, I thought I saw a bird of prey in the sky. It was bigger than a kestrel. More like a sparrow hawk. It's been bothering me. After all, nothing lives here. At least nothing should. So many chemicals here can't even find rats. That's true. So I dug up my old bird call tapes, and I'm trying to lure it back. And how's that going? <sighs> Poorly. Either I hallucinated, or it's playing hard to get. Maybe you're not speaking its language. I am, I am! Sparrow hogs are hardwired to respond to the call of another male encroaching on his territory. How do you know so much about this? I'm a bird watcher. Or at least I was, back when there were more birds alive than just crows. So, what, you spied on birds? Watch them! <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a bit of voyeurism in it. Birds are fascinating. What are you gonna do? I could try one more trick, but I can't do it alone. I'd like to play the calls from a very high place, without anyone around, even myself. <laughs> Do you have any particular very high place in mind? The radio tower. This may sound crazy, but if you could do this, it might draw him out and I could observe from here with my binoculars. Makes sense. You think so? Can you help me with this? I can't promise anything. Of course, but if you do decide to help, take this tape recorder. It will definitely come in handy. By the way, I'm Adrian. I'm Aiden. I'll get in touch. I hope it will answer the call. Birds of prey are wary creatures. Even before the fall, sparrowhawks rarely entered the cities. Turning on the power will change things completely. 
We can live safely in the powered Hilda. areas. You have such fine physical traits. Mind if I sketch you? Aiden, the peacekeepers left our people to die on the island. Do something. Did you hear? Renegades attacked the canteen. Nowhere is safe anymore. My wife was a nurse when this city was still covered. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. D did our parents send you? Who is it? Shh, baby. How did you find us? That's what the Carrier's Guild does, but no one else knows. Not even whoever sent that letter. I it's from your parents. And my dad, too. What did they say? To come home. That they forgive us. That we can work this out. Let's go, Mickey. I don't want to hide anymore. I want to go home. It could be a trap, baby. A, a trick to get us to come back and then separate us once and for all. Please, Mickey. I can't live like this. I miss my mom. But I love you, baby. I don't want them getting between us again. But, Mickey! I'm gonna leave you kids to it. Good luck. Letter for you, sir. I'm sure it wasn't easy to get here. Doesn't have to be easy. I just do my job. Well, I sure am thankful for you and the Carrier's Guild. 
Here's a little something extra. No, that's not necessary. Nonsense. Take it, my thanks. Welcome back, hotshot. I've got news for you. Uh, what now, Professor? You gonna tell me that because the Chinese invented paper, they invented the paper cut, too? I already figured that out. Are you gonna keep being a smart arse, or are you gonna listen? As of this delivery, you've been promoted from initiate to regular member of the Carrier's Guild. You deserve it, hotshot. Keep it up, and you'll earn another rank in no time. I have to say, Driscoll, I enjoy the work. Well, that's good to hear. Because with higher rank comes higher privileges. You now have access to the guild lockers hidden around the city. We stock them full of useful supplies, so you don't have to come back here to top up. Take this key and look for our mark. Like it or not, you're one of us now, hotshot. I do like it, Professor. Thank you.
There's a nest here. There are abandoned nests all over the place. But there are eggs in it. That's impossible. What are their colors? White, with dots. Brown dots? That's right. How many are there? Six? Uh, five. <laughs> Sparrow hook! Oh, Mason, I love you! If nature is returning to the city, it means the air is getting cleaner. The amount of chemical particulates in the air is going down. Get away from the nest at once. But what about the tape recorder? No self-respecting bird watcher would disturb a nesting bird. Let's hope the young hatch. Yeah, they're probably safe here. I think so. Thank you, Aiden. This is really a great day for me. I'm glad I could help. Hall tournament. Everything you need. What the heck can I do for you? Versatile. Very versatile. Ooh, what you gonna use that for? Yeah. 
Yes, indeed. Looking forward to your return visit. Come on. I'm so sick of it. Don't all. drink and shop now. I'm take the boy and go to the PKs. Why, thank you, honey. I wanted one of those. Don't forget to tell all your friends. Forever. Well, that's what you're talking about. Why are you At least he'd have a future with <laughs> Can you anyway, fly and become matter. invisible? Yeah, I sure. Renegades will stop at nothing. One day we might just walk into the dam and flood the entire city. It's about what happened to the old building. First tournament in two years.
Okay. 
I have everything.
got my brother killed. I didn't mean for him to get hurt. But he did, because of you. Stop conning others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey, who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? Whatever, I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see, before the fall, uh, I was an actor. Not even a good one. Oh, bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, as I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. I'm a greedy, lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, at least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes. Like now. You survived the ordeal. Keep the spoils for your trouble. As for me, the curtain's going down. Uh, uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache. And? Well? Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. 